Is your blood pressure killing you? Probably. There's two ways blood pressure can kill you. It, number one, it can actually kill you. It'll cause you to have a heart attack or stroke and that's it. Or worse, you can have an abdominal aneurysm or a brain aneurysm. There's lots of ways that blood pressure can kill you. But listen guys, there's another way that blood pressure can totally ruin your life is it can take over your life emotionally. It can get into your brain. And many people are so stressed out about their blood pressure that the stress of the blood pressure is raising their blood pressure. Now, is this you? Have you found that your blood pressure is so stressful to you that it's an all-consuming thing about your life? And that's one way that it just takes years off your life. Not necessarily chronological years, but it's taking its toll on you. And there's, there's a way out. There is a way out. And you have to have a game plan on how to take control. I'm going to give you some ideas in this video of how to develop a game plan so that you can stop obsessing and being obsessed by this blood pressure problem. So number one, you have to follow the video that I did regarding deep breathing exercises. If you're not spending at least a couple minutes doing very slow controlled deep breathing every day to simply calm your mind down then you're, you're not even at step one. So you have to learn how to do that. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be a link and I'm gonna put it somewhere either on this side or this side. There's gonna be a box and just hit that link and learn how to do it if you have not seen the video. Very, very important that you get your mind right and you do these deep breathing exercises. The second thing is you need to have your diet down and you need to discuss this with your doctor, but quite frankly, your doctor is probably as wise about diet as you are. In fact, you probably more, know more about diet than he does because doctors don't spend their day studying different diets. They study diseases and how to prescribe medications and the proper protocols. In fact, most insurance companies are dictating what doctors are doing these days and it's it's hard enough to keep track of what we're supposed to write down in the chart notes what we're supposed to document and what we're supposed to do let alone actually worrying about health disease takes control of most of our day so it's important that you understand that you are in control of this and you better figure out what diet works for you now Every diet claims the same thing, that it can lower your blood sugar, help your uh, blood pressure, get rid of fat, all those things. Yada, yada, yada. There is probably a diet that works better for you and you need some intuition to learn what works better for you. But I would suggest to try many different diets. Probably the most researched diet out there, and of course this is controversial, is a Mediterranean diet. And when it comes to heart health and blood pressure, that might be one that you may want to try first. If it does not work for you, you can certainly try other things. Some people will go on uh, almost starvation diets. They'll fast for 40 days and they'll claim that that lowers their blood pressure. And that may be something you want to consider. But, you know, there's more, there's extreme diets and there's not so extreme diets and you have to consider that if you want to live a long time you're going to have to follow some type of diet that you can follow for a long time i just personally can't see myself fasting for 40 days uh, and doing that consistently for my entire life so but that's just me you try what you want to do the third thing that you need to get a control of and many people just they say they're too busy, but you'll find that if you take their telephone, their cell phone, and calculate how many hours they're on that thing per day, uh, everybody's got time to at least do something for 20, 30 minutes a day. The easiest, of course, is walking, but if you like to ride a bike, you like to swim, you like to lift weights, whatever the case may be. But there are some exercises that are better for blood pressure than other exercises. And so let me know if I forgot to do this. I'm gonna do the best I can for you, but I'll have a link for the breathing and I'll have a link for the best exercises that you can do for your blood pressure. But when you have a game plan, when you do deep breathing every day, when you have the right diet, 
and you have the right exercise, then your blood pressure is probably going to normalize. And then you simply don't have to waste your brain energy worrying and stressing and having anxiety about blood pressure. Because what I've found is in my practice, and I've been in practice for over 25 years, a lot of people are so stressed out that that is the eventual cause of their actual condition.